you're welcome to this module of um, the UI design training so you've successfully signed up on Behance what next so in this module I'll be walking you through how to set up your Behance account so um, once you sign up you notice some of these checklists um, on your Behance so just do a little um, a little walk through this you notice um can you see the image they gave me i don't like this so i'll just quickly edit my profile so i'll put a profile picture you want to um tick all these checklists by carrying out the instructions so i'll just get an image from my laptop so i've selected an image um, let me just do something like this This is an old picture. <laughs> Alright, I'll crop and save this. Okay, you see that it has stick it good. So I've added my profile picture. So the next thing you want to do is to claim your profile URL. So this is what my profile URL is going to be like. Prince um Uboga. It's fine. Okay. A custom URL increases your chance of being discovered by others one okay let me use x okay this will go one so you click on save that's taken the next one is edit your availability um are you have because you can also get jobs from behance if because one of one of the things behance um avails you to do is to put up your design portfolio so if someone sees your work and wants to hire you you can get jobs from here so you can just click on full-time job or if you want to do freelance um are you willing to i want to work remote i'm looking for remote opportunities freelance project and commission okay you can just set this up so i'll leave this for now so i'll click on done full-time job remote is fine for me so that's taking already so create your first before we go to creating our first project let's edit our profile so I'll just click on edit your profile. Um, Prince, this, that. What's your occupation? I'm a product designer or you are your designer. D C T D E F I G N E R. So these are you set up your profile. You can put your company name. So you put your location, put your city. If you are not in Nigeria, put your country. You put your city. Please put correct details. So I'll just put that. You can put your website if you have any. So um, I think that you can put your links too if you have any of them. So I don't have all the time to do this. So just this is how you do it. And you can also go back. Okay, go to about me. You can put um, just describe yourself. Prince is a product designer and a UIS instructor at Explore Design Studio. X P L R E D E F I G N. So um, just describe yourself. Make it catchy. And when you are done, you add your years of work experience. I won't do all of this in this video because of time. So you can add your work experience. Let's see, you are done to leave this. Okay, so you can just do that. Then you put your links. All of this, you find them under edit profile. So I'm done. You see the effect now. So Prince Uboga, product designer, explore design studio, Port Harcourt, Nigeria. So if you want to re-edit your profile, you can come here. So this also should create our first project. So you click on create your first project and see what they have for you. Okay, we won't do this for now because this is where you want to upload your portfolio. That's when you are done with your first UI UX design project. But because um, I'm not in this part of the training, at this point of the training rather, we've not started creating design. So I'm going to walk you through um, how to put up your portfolio on Behance in one of the modules of this training. So, thank you for staying to the end. Um, 
yeah i think that'll be all for now so let me just go back to there's no project to upload so i'll just go back to to my profile i think let me just click on this because there's no project to upload okay um very quickly we'll go to the next phase of this training so you've um what do you use behance for we use behance for we'll be using behance for three things three basic stuff or three basic things in this training the first one is we use behance to build inspiration you understand the second is that we use behance to create our mood board then the last is that we'll be using behance to um set up our portfolio you understand don't show this again to set up our portfolio so the other things you can use behance for you can live stream you can put up nft you can do adobe stocks and other stuff but for now we'll just focus on these three things we'll get inspiration from behance we'll, we'll do what we'll um, create mood boards then we'll also create our portfolio on behance so in my next module i'll be teaching you how to do ui research with behance how to do ui research with behance so having set up your profile having set up your um, behance profile you can you can choose to add a banner here yeah? so the next thing is to start working with this um, robust design tool so the first work we'll be doing with it is to do our ui research create mood board and then portfolio so thank you very much for staying to the end see you in the next module have a great day bye